My name is Daniel Baer. I've been here a few years in a row. And uh, what I've come to learn after giving this lecture many times, actually about 60 or 70 times across Sweden and Finland, it's really not about giving disinformation because if I was just here to give you information, I could just say, hey, go to these websites and read them and that's all, and I'd walk home. But actually, what we're here to do is get you inspired to do something. And do something about what? Dad, I just came back from school and the teacher was talking about all the problems you had back in your day. With all the pollution and wars. What caused that? Well, daughter, back when I was about your age, the whole world was addicted to oil. Oil? What's that? to go to war for oil? Yeah. You think so? I yeah. think you might have to. <laughs> yeah. consumption on the planet in your daily choices. Processed food like baked cereal, chocolate, sugar, take a lot of energy to create. I'm going to be the oil guy. I'm the one supplying the oil. You guys, you are the U.S., you are, not the U.S. government, you're just any government, okay? And you are a, a private business person, and you are a person trying to develop alternative energy, okay? So, you guys are buying the oil from me, so here, give me two of the dollars each. Two dollars, please. And now you gotta give one dollar to the government, because they're paying taxes, right? So you gotta pay one dollar to the government. Okay, and I gotta pay half of my profits to the government, so here you go. Okay, now the price of oil just doubled. Give me four dollars. Oh, you just ran out of money. That's too bad. Oh, you just ran out of money, too. Oh. 
This poor guy wants to develop alternative energy. He's out of business. That's too bad, isn't it? Hi, buddy. Me and you, you know, we can make lots of money together. So yeah, I can pay your taxes, and you buy oil from me. Forget about those guys over there. That's where it goes. Makeup and you know, nice pretty clothes on. <laughs> I'm not criticizing women or anything like that, but I'm just trying to make a point here. So, Patty, I hope you're not uh, squeamish about blood, are you? Because we're going to do some sur surgery here. Okay, we're going to take a deeper look at what's going on inside Petro Patty here. Okay. So, we're going to look inside Petro Patty's brain here. And we're going to find something. All these old tapes, these old records, these old thoughts are recorded in our brain. So these are the kind of records, you know, that are registered back in our minds that we've forgotten about, but they're there controlling to a large part how we react to the stimulus that comes into our bodies, into our minds. And until we start recognizing this, we're always going to be manipulated by the media because they know we have these records. And they know, they have their psychologists that are experts in how to get to us. And they know these things are deep inside of us and we don't even recognize them ourselves. But they know if they can push these buttons, then they can get us motivated to do things that we might not normally do otherwise. So this is the number one problem, in my opinion, is these deep records in our mind that need to be looked at. Be a hero. Turn off your own society. Turn on to your own inner hero. 